Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Pumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with XCOM 2. This is episode 41, and we were doing things. I'm sure we remember what those things were, but probably not. I think we killed a bunch of guys and did stuff, and we did the sword slay. I had the guy ran at us. We sword slashed him. It was sexy. It was brilliant. It was one of my more stroke of genius -y plays. And... Then that happened, and that kind of ruined all of my genius strokes and plays and whatnot. So, there is this that we are going to now have to deal with. But, again, we're not necessarily in trouble here. Alright, let's see. We've got you. Doth I dare go all in? You know I'm going all in, boys and girls. This is what I do. I'm like, you know what? This is crazy. It absolutely should never happen. And it's a bad idea. Let's do it. It's pretty much my motto. Alright, we are going to shoot you with lots of stuff. Oh my gosh, we killed the Muton with the uh, exploding car. Totally planned it that way. Totally planned it that way. That's right, folks. You didn't expect it. You didn't believe it. But it happened. Or something. I, I have no idea. Alright, let's see if we can't murder this thing. Oh gosh, I have no idea. Alright, we shall move good old Terence on up to the front lines. I've totally lost count of how many enemies I need to murder at this point. Oh, we critically hit and didn't quite end him. It was close, though. It did hit the plate. This is true. This is a true statement. Alright, well, can Tack do enough? Yeah, we could do it that way, but why don't we do the this. Yeah, it's going to be 4 damage, 2 armor, 2 damage. It should guarantee the kill, and then between Gun Show and Saber Lady, we might actually be able to get a kill here. There's no guarantee of that, though. Alright, he's obviously coming back. Can we do enough damage to kill him? I think so. I think so. Oh, we also have Coffee Shop that I totally forgot about. Alright, 81%. Better than that chance to hit. I think we're going to miss this one. Oh, we didn't. Oh, man, it even looked like the beam went sideways there. But hey, you know what? It worked. We landed that shot. The gun show is in town. And it is going to take this guy straight down. To the depths. I don't know if there's depths, but the guy's dead. So, there is that. Or more than likely, he's dead. Yep, that sort of just happened. Alright, so the next two opponents are now officially toasted and not alive anymore. We're going to move forward a little bit more, hoping that we don't see anything else. We have guns and various things. Alright, where's this thing at? It's still over there. We have time. I shouldn't move here. I really shouldn't move here. I'm going to move here. Oh god, what am I doing? Okay, we're good. Totally knew it would be fine, guys. Yep. I knew my limits, like a mouse. It is what it is, folks. It is simply what it is. Alright, we're going to move up here with good old Interval. Should probably do a reload at some point. Does he have a free one, is my question. One sec, guys. I want to go take a peek back at him. It's not going to show me right now. It's possible we have a free one, but it's also very possible and somewhat likely that we do not. Alright, we're going to move up with the gun show. We're not going to see any enemies. We're going to do our... No, we're not. We're going to actually overwatch. It's going to be fine. We have a Z-Torch to come over here as well. We're going to move him over to this side, though. And we have four turns before the data completion. Uh, we can do this. This is not that big of an issue. Because if you think about it, we have three turns to do, what is it, like 12, 20, 15 damage? I don't know. There's a decent amount, but... ah. We're still fine. That ain't no thing. Go, go, go! Alright, good old Terrence Grimlock's gonna get into position and leaves us with stick here. Gonna move here. Right. Terrible idea. Should not do this. I highly recommend not doing this. We kinda lagged a little bit there. Hmm. Well, we'll see if anything terrible comes of this. It's very possible that it will. Oh gosh, you usually just overwatch. Well, a lot of us are overwatching. This may actually turn out okay. By a lot, I actually mean only one of us is overwatching. So this could be very bad. 
In fact, this may be the worst thing I've ever done in the history of, well, everything I've ever done. Alright, I don't see a good way of doing this without dying a horrible, awful, 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 horrible death. So, we have to overstep every once in a while, guys. It's just a thing that we need to do. Alright, we're going to try to crit for, like, quintuple the damage we actually need to. It did not work, but he's a little bit sadder than he once was. Alright, let's see what happens, guys. I am being greedy. It's a thing. I stand by my uh, choices to be greedy here. We'll see if it actually pans out. I don't think anyone's completely out and exposed. She's the closest to exposed right now. Our medic might be able to do a lot of work here. I doubt it, but maybe. Oh, he did quite a bit of work. But it's not going to be enough. Oh, oh, wait, maybe. No, yes. No, maybe. No. Oh, God. Eh, didn't really... That He could have done so much worse to us. And again, if they're out for a few days, I'm okay-ish with that. Alright, that's less cool. Tack just kind of got wrecked a little bit. These guys seem to hit about as frequently as we do. Hmm. Really, dude? You had to throw the shield? You had to throw the shield. That was your thing, huh? Yeah, we're fine. Not a big deal. The alien transmission is still active and we're running out of time. Get to the relay and take it out. We have ASAP. we have armor on for a reason. We need to soak some damage every once in a while. Because if we don't, what are we really doing with our lives? Let's be honest. Not a whole heck of a lot. So that being said, let's move on up here. I am pretty sure that I want to murder the guy to my right that I can't see for whatever reason. So since I oop, that's not what I wanted either. So since I can't see him. We're going to instead melt this guy's face and potentially panic him, though probably not. That didn't seem to work very well at all. Did he actually get panicked from that? Are we going to see the fallout here? What's happening? Is the entire building going to cave in? He was still shielded through all of that. Huh. Well, I got to say, not a fan. I'm not a big fan of what just happened there. Hmm, let's go with our, where's our sniper at? Our sniper has a little bit of play here. Oh my gosh, you actually have very, very, very bad shots all around. Alright, Tack, uh, we're going to move the colonel up behind you. It's not the best play that we can make. We're not going to necessarily do anything yet, but we've moved up behind... I'm going to move Tack directly over and unload right on his backside. There's a tremendous amount of armor on this guy, though. Like, I think even if we land every single shot, he's still going to survive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe? Well, wow, we actually... no. He, he survived. We took it down his entire shield, we removed it, we did the three armor, and then we lacked the last single piece of damage. Which is kind of what I was figuring. I'm okay with this still. This is not the end of the world yet. Not the end of the world. Alright, we're going to go and throw the explosive over here. It's going to hopefully tear through some of his armor, get rid of some of the shielding. And make this a lot less super crazy and suicidal and deadly, but still not entirely. This guy is still standing there quite strongly. The shield has been removed. We see the thing. Coffee shop has a slightly... No, he doesn't have any better of a shot. Alright, coffee shop, take the shot, buddy. Don't miss. Alright, so that dude's super dead. That leaves us with very little left that we can actually make happen here. Uh, I guess we move here. We can hack something. What does it do? Alright, let's go see what the hacking does. He's not the ideal hacker, but he could probably still get the job done. He is a colonel, so he still has high hacking skills. I mean, maybe it's going to give us an extra movement or something. Eh, we'll see. Soldier crit chance increased by 33 for three turns. That would have been useful. Well, I think we're going to back out. I'd rather not attempt the hack, if at all possible. Also, why is that white? Shouldn't it be, like, matching his color scheme or something? I don't, I don't know. 
All right, we've got a pretty terrible shot on you over there, buddy. Which I suppose I'm okay with. Um... On the move. I guess I'll move over here. Maybe aggroing yet another group, though I think this is probably the last group. We have a 95% chance to say good day, sir. We're gonna say it right here. And completely annihilated the guy. We're seeing how well our armor can hold up. That's kind of the plan right now. Data transfer is getting close. The shield is removed. Uh, there's a shield removed from somebody on the ceiling, apparently. I don't know what that means. Also, I was unaware that if you killed that guy, it actually removed everybody's shield. That is actually kind of impressive. Also, looking at it, I could have probably have gone with a rocket launcher there. Adjusting aim. As a slightly better uh, play, but eh. Surprised he didn't, like, freak out from getting hit with the fire. He is on fire right now, too. Which is less good. Ah, the colonel's like, bah. That didn't even, that barely scratched my armor. That, that kind of warmed up my skin a little bit. Kind of made me excited to be alive, you know? Alright, clearly there's some sort of gun or something emplaced on the roof. I don't know. On your order. Oh, well, I misclick that, awkwardly. Why can't I slash this? Th I mean, it's totally fine. I'll just shoot it, but I really wanted to hit it with my sword, and it's just like, nope. Sorry, not gonna be a thing. Burning through ammo. Minus one five. We've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Yeah, it is. Any remaining hostiles and move to evac. All right, can and will do. But first, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go with the free reload. And we are going to murder oh, someone's yeah. face, potentially. Probably not, but maybe. 45%? We could land the shot. And we didn't, but boy, oh boy, did that wall suffer for it. Time Let me tell on. you. Let me tell you. All right, what do we want to do here? The gun show's nearby, right? Yeah, let's get the gun show to finish this guy off. All right, we're going to walk around behind you and be like, dude, you just caused us so many issues. Get wrecked. A rat cat bang. Probably would have been a little bit better. I just kind of overkill there. Would have been a little bit better had we healed our guys. I don't think it really makes any difference, to be honest, but... Oh, we're not done yet. Apparently that's a thing. Okay, well, that being said... Stitch, my friend! Why don't you restore everyone? Alright, so group heals are coming out. This is going to probably take a while. Everyone pretty much got wrecked at least a little bit at some point here. There's one heal. We didn't run into the unknown enemy yet, and there was something shielded on the roof of this building. So I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit concerned right now as to what is actually out there that we're going to have to deal with here. Very shortly. And heal up the gun show. I mean, eh, again, minor damage. There's going to be wounds. I imagine most people are going to go to the med bay, but it's not going to be for a very long period of time first. And secondly, nah, that's really about it. That's just not going to be for a very long period of time. All right, going to move over here. We're going to go for the hack on the squad one. And worst case, we get, what, reinforcements? We'll do it on the next turn. We're pretty close to ending this one. Uh, yeah, we're just going to watch. It's fine. All right, there's clearly something up on top. What the heck is that thing? Okay, there's a giant orb. It's GLaDOS on steroids. It's it's scary stuff. Okay, well, with that being said, Stitch Buddy, you just have not had any chance to reload your weapon. Understood. It's okay. It's obviously not ideal, but I'm not sure why I put this on you specifically, but right now I'm actually kind of glad I did because I get to do this, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And you guys should fall to your deaths, or at least get really hurt from it. All right, the explosions are real. That actually did not kill you. I'm kind of shocked by this. I do have an explosive I can throw onto you people, but I'm going to do so as the Dragon Rider himself. Go over here. Can we land both? No, we cannot. 
All right, well, hold on. What about good old gun show? What does he got? He's got a flashbang. That's not useful at all. He does have a free reload, though. All right, not sure who I want to do what with, where, when, and how, and why. But... If I were to chain shot somebody, gosh, that just seems awful. Let's do it. 43% chance. Take it, baby. Take it. Get him, Colonel RPG. Or totally miss and do literally nothing. That was option two. But, if nothing else, you did manage to put some hatred on him, and that's a thing, I guess. We will blow up this. That will also be a thing. Maybe the suppressive fire would have been the better course of action. I don't know for certain. Can not really hit the big dude up top. I think we need to get closer with our sniper. Our sniper has been too far out for too long. We need to get a little bit closer with coffee shop. It's going to be fine. So we have met our unknown enemy. Gotta say, I am not impressed. I also... It's not your turn. So, we're gonna finish you off. Goodbye, Mr. Stun Baton Man. Kinda wish you fell to your death, as opposed to what you actually did, which was a lot of nothing. Yeah, you did the, whatever that was all about, sure. Alright, we'll move over here, and it's just the stick now, huh? Just the stick. Alright, we're gonna move here with the stick. We're gonna move behind this, if we can. After, of course, we grab up the goodies. Superior scope. Advanced stock. All right. And we're going to move behind this. All right. Let's see what this giant ball of doom is going to do to us. I'm actually very, very worried, but I'm trying to play it off like it's all part of the plan. I have no idea what it's going to do, but I assume it's probably going to hurt a tremendously large amount. And it looks like I'm not wrong. Oh, dear God. What is it doing? Okay, remember when I said it looks like it was going to really, really, really hurt? I didn't think it was going to hurt that much. Like, that was uh, oddly surprising. How far do we... Oh, no. I wanted to check if I had a free reload. Oh, God. Oh, I totally did, because I'm a superhero. All right, what do we have here? Rupture? Let's rupture this fool. Be like, yeah, dude, 95%. You want to open your eyeball to us? You'd be a little weird squid monster. We're gonna wreck your face. Oh, he's super dead. There's there's no chance at all of him surviving this. He is ruptured, and I think I think a coffee shop might actually get the kill here. Coffee shop's gonna go for the kill. If he doesn't get it, we'll take it out with gun show. But oh, he missed. Wow, coffee shop missing too. Our stone cold killer kind of got freaked out by the giant squid monster owning his soul there. Not super great, but 72%. That's the best you got, huh, buddy? Take it, man. You missed at point-blank range, basically. The thing is larger than a washing machine. I know this because you're kind of kneeling by a washing machine. So, there's that. Okay. Well, things are getting worse as we progress. Tack, what do you got for us, buddy? Oh, good, you killed it. Oh, God, it exploded, too. Well, Turn glad we down. didn't run up and sword slash it, slash it, slice it like I was going to. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. All right, the gate Status gatekeeper confirmed. shell is down. So five out of six people got wounded. I think Pogo might have been the only one who didn't. And she was the furthest forward one the entire time. Well, that got messy, but again, we have the equipment to let me be as sloppy and nasty as I want to be because it doesn't matter. Because we're going to wreck them anyway. 6.67, that is one third or two thirds of ten or something. I got nothing. It's fine, guys. Our shot rate was fairly well to do. Our cover wasn't great. Uh, who took the most damage? It was... Nobody knows. The most under fire was the good old Colonel RPG, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Now I'll have to find out about Splooch today. Uh, my parents are coming, guys. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm sure I have by now. They're coming um, next week on Tuesday, the 23rd of February, and they're staying through till March 1st. So I'm actually ahead on recordings enough to maybe do a full load while they're gone and blow through my reserves. But 
I'm also probably going to be starting one or two new things during that, so we'll see. Uh, it's going to be questionable timing, guys. We'll see. We'll see. So if things get a little bit slow or a little bit weird or what have you for this next week coming up, that's why. Just so you guys know. All right, we are here. Let's watch everybody limp their way back up from that horrible, horrible mission that I just sent them on. And you guys can laugh and mock, and it's going to be fun. All right, we have landed, and what do we see? Um, They're all lightly wounded or barely wounded. Wow, our armor really held up. Well, kudos. This was actually... A, the reason I played is, quote-unquote, as badly as I did... I was trying to take some damage to see how the armor did hold up, and apparently, for whatever reason, it held up amazingly well this time, so... Take from that what you will, guys and gals. Take from that what you will. We're going to probably start pulling a few of our better gunners and stuff out, and swapping in some of the other people. We may throw face tank back in the main slot, the captain slot, if you will, or the leader slot, and we'll go from there. All right, we're going to continue on. The superior scope, the advanced stock, and, of course, the gatekeeper shell is a thing now. The organism within the gatekeeper shell is highly unusual, seemingly reliant on the shell itself for sensory input. Long sequences of engraved symbols, not unlike ancient hieroglyphs, or, yeah, hieroglyphs adorn the inner aligning of the shell. Well, there's the thing. Our initial readings of the odd spherical creature we encountered show it to be of immense psionic power. Potentially arriving that of the elders themselves, it may be possible to reverse engineer its biomechanical yeah, components for use in our own equipment. Hello, Commander. Hi. Alright, unfortunately they did get a minor breakthrough. However, we got ourselves a new scientist, and our team is eliminated, blah blah blah. We know what's going on, guys. New staff available. Yay, research speed increased by 13%. What what? The armory says good day. We can view soldiers, I don't... Why are we viewing soldiers? Oh, I didn't level up gun show. My bad. Alright, 1, 4, 2, 4, and 2. Not that big of a deal, folks. Alright, let's promote you. I'm sorry I skipped over your uh, promotion there. Alright, I think I'm going to still go with uh, the chain shot. It seems like a legit strategy when it actually lands. I like it. And from there, we're looking pretty solid, guys. We have uh, an entire grouping of people that are from the sign-up. In fact, we have almost everybody in our entire group right now that is from the sign-up. The remnants that aren't are as follows. Uh, Laura Cox, Ursula Kohler, uh, Dolly Hunter, and Osvaldo Diaz. Those are all rando people that just got thrown into the squad. Everybody else is a signed up individual. There are still several people, and I'm adding more each day, guys. Not necessarily adding them directly into this. I will probably do that in two or three more episodes. I'll do another one or two uh, character creations inside this just to add some more people to the mix. And, well, you guys may be lucky enough to be the one, or you may not. And you may be in the reserves pool, and I may never actually get to you. But there's always next time, guys. There's always next time. I think I'm going to have to. There's that floating head again, guys. I think I may have to in the uh, next series or two that I run that have sign-ups. I may have to let people sit it out again. Like, I know a lot of people will be like, Well, they were in uh, XCOM Long War. Face Tank was there. Uh, Attack was there. Odie was there. He died early on. Uh, let's see who else was there. I think that was mostly it. Uh, Battle Unit 3 has been in all of my XCOM uh, adventures, and Commissar was another one. But, again, not everybody was there. So, we have a few uh, favorites coming back. Blood Mantis is definitely one I'm going to be adding into the crew. Was our number one sniper for the entirety of XCOM Long War, so there is that. Anyway, folks, looking at the time, we got a little bit more time before we really have to break off anything and uh, leave. So, let's uh, see if we can't get some more scanning done before we have to end it. All right, we'll go watch the Avatar Project jump up again. We'll still be three behind, but it's not that big of a deal. Or is it? continue to make progress on the Avatar Project. All right, one thing to be aware of. to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We're going to have to be aware of the chrysalids and stuff like that happening. That's one thing that we're going to have to be aware of. Anyway, let's get these supplies. And let's hope for the best. I don't know why specifically we needed these supplies, but we do. 
Is the Avatar Project going to go up again for some unknown reason? Oh, they're building the facility. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar huh. Project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Yeah, it's on my to-do list. It's on my to-do list. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Indeed. All right, let's assign a new research. That this armored environmental suit is capable of functioning in combat well after the original wearer has expired is remarkable. I must consult with Shin for further study into this unusual behavior. Hmm. Proximity mine. Not really looking forward to it, guys. But meh. Uh, using high-tech multi-spectrum sensors, the proximity mine will self-trigger when an enemy penetrates its radius. Dealing massive damage to the environment and enemy targets alike. It's probably pretty good, but meh. Alright, we have the gatekeeper autopsy, we have the chrysalid autopsy, and we have a data decryption. We're going to go with the autopsy Presumably, of the chrysalid. The name chrysalid derives from assumptions made previously about the creature's unusual means of reproduction. Although rumors have long prevailed about the existence of zombies created as a byproduct of the chrysalid gestation, Recent reports seem to indicate a new, equally disturbing means of propagating their species. Well, that's fantastic. Anyone want to uh, chew on a giant insect? No? Me neither. Alright, so that is done. I have no idea what we're going to do next, but... To refined fossil fuel. Okay, can we get this done? Is this the thing? Ugh. It's never going to happen. Hey, a hazmat vest. By reinforcing the nanoscale vest with specialized materials, soldiers gain an additional health boost and are completely resistant to any environmental hazards like fire, acid, or poison. Okay. There we go. Scan! Alright. Hey! The Aqualite Battle Unit 3, the Chosen One, Boo 3, uh, learned Soul Fire. Very nice. Okay. Well, we'll continue on. Uh, continue training. What are we going to train for this time? Let's see here. Inspire. Grant a bonus. Action immediately to a nearby yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul Steel. Soul Fire transfers half of the damage back to the Psy Operative as health. Not bad. Soul Psy Operative is surrounded by an aura that immediately... Meh. Soul Steel it is. I like it. Alright. Um, We have an unstaffed engineer. Our people should probably already be healed back up. We're going to have to go back into the Proving Grounds, and maybe we can build ourselves one of the War Suits. Let's give that a shot. We'll, get started right away, Commander. we'll begin. Yeah, I would like to add somebody to it. Galina Novinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinovinov
That's it, 79 supplies. That seems a little underwhelming. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys had a blast. You had a lot of fun. I will see you again in the very next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Bye.